This plot of land has recently come onto the market. Uh, today is the 17th of March and um, it's come up for sale within the last week or so. Um, it's in the Cheshire area which is a very popular area, um, very affluent because of all the football clubs. And this parcel of land here is on the market for just under 200,000. It's offset from the road but this is the actual plot and it does have planning permission for a detached house but when you read through some of the uh, property details it looks like it's a um, one level property with two bedrooms in a roof space so uh, let's have a look and see if we can make the numbers uh, stack up and see what they look like here so um, we'll put some basic details in about the property address uh, in particular I've looked up the postcode for the road uh, and we'll just use that for the time being and then we'll come back and we'll save some more details about the property if we think it's something we want to go ahead with so it is a detached property um, but actually it's a more of a bungalow and what we'll do is further on we'll add some um, uh, extra cost for building into the roof space. Uh, so medium sized uh, property because we are going to add some space in the loft. Average finish, yep. Okay, so have a look at some property prices for this area. We can see that um, within, a, within a reasonable uh, within a reasonable distance of the property itself property prices actually look to be reasonably healthy um, so there is a big range if we look at some past sold prices um, we can actually see that uh, we've got something not too far away four bedrooms so it's approximately the same size as what as the property we're looking at and the value there is 385 then we do also have properties that have sold some time ago for close to 400,000. Um, looking at the ranges uh, that Zoopla is given us as an estimate, which is a rough estimate, you can't really rely on these. Um, it's saying that something approximately uh, edging towards the 540 is achievable. So we would need to do a lot of research here, maybe get on the phones and phone some local estate agents who know the road really well um, and see what they think we can get for a um, property, a detached property. Um, uh, but let's start off and see if we can make the numbers uh, work out with something approaching the 450 range. Okay, so the asking price of the plot of land is 185. So let's um, adjust some of our costs. So, and then see if we can make the numbers work out. So, this is the overall timing. This is the amount of time that it will take us to buy the land, do some prep work, preparation work in terms of getting ready to do the building, uh, some design work, maybe go back to planning uh, if we want to make some changes, and then the construction period there as well. there. Um, so we're not entirely sure if it has outline planning or full planning but we can look that up so let's just assume that it does have full planning uh, sorry so that we don't need uh, planning permission at all which removes all of these costs um, development finance this works out the costs of um, getting the construction and development loans we'll come back to that at another time so um, we're not sure about the quality of the architectural plans and whether they are just um, they're available or whether they are just purely planning uh, drawings. Um, so we'll allow for an architect. Um, we'll allow for some structural engineering advice and maybe something to do with the location. Uh, Quantity surveyor. What we'll do is we'll allow for an estimating service. <coughs> and what we may actually do is allow a bit more money in for the architectural fees and then we'll roll in the health and safety into the architect's um, role okay so <coughs> community infrastructure levy and local authority costs um, we'll have to allow something for that um, but uh, we can look into 
the uh, details here to see if there's anything in the database. We'll have to find the right location. Um, let's see if there's any charging in the Cheshire area at the moment. And doesn't look to be anything specific. So we will have to contact the local authority to see if they have any plans to introduce a community infrastructure levy. Um, actually, it looks like there is something in the Warrington area. So let's um, let's allow something. Um, bearing in mind that we may need to go back and check with the local authority. So let's allow 10,000. Uh, no. Let's allow something for now. Surveys. Um, it looks like it is existing gardens. Um, so it is still useful to get some desktop surveys done and to find out where the utilities are in the road and how we can connect to them. And we'll also, this part of this uh, survey cost here will include um, a review of the water table. Uh, so this is the construction cost section and so we'll allow for um, we'll allow for some costs here uh, we may need to tweak these uh, <coughs> uh, and then we'll add in an extra floor here construct extra floor yeah that's what we want to do uh, partial use of roof space dormer windows here we go so um, we, we are going to go up into the roof so we've added an extra 14 15 thousand pounds there to the construction costs on top of a bungalow so the costs are coming out at uh, 1400 pound a meter squared so around a hundred thousand um, we may need to go out and do a review here and gets quotes in from maybe some package builders um, or um, get an estimator to do us a detailed review of any drawings that the architect has put together. Um, so as it currently stands the uh, property actually is looking rather good. 13-14% uh, return on risk. Um, we'll try and uh, round that off to 15 I think and estate agency fees yeah uh, if we keep the property at the end and not sell it on then that's a straight saving to us but we will allow for some estate agency fees land finance so when we uh, acquire uh, the land we're going to take out the loan this works out the cost of that loan including the interest uh, some stamp duty when we buy the land, uh, some searches, the legal fees to actually acquire the, the land as well. Insurances, once we purchase the plot, actually becomes our responsibility. And it looks like we should be putting up some quite extensive fencing there. So let's uh, go on the high side for those costs. Um, insurances. Um, it's fairly secluded that so we'll allow for some medium cost for insurances stamp duty uh, so insurance premium tax that's due to go up from the budget uh, but it's currently at 9.5 percent okay so this is our development evaluation um, and the numbers are looking pretty good actually this is this is provided that we can get the 450 the asking price for the plot of land is in the order of 185 and we're looking like we can afford to pay go above that 190 so um, what we'll probably need to do is spend a bit more time looking at this um, final valuation here for a completed building because this is probably going to be where there's a discrepancy um, but otherwise it's looking pretty good this is a looks like a good opportunity in a nice location so it's definitely something that's uh, worth reviewing <coughs> 